Namaste. So here we are. Is the we call Kulen Mountain. Kulen Mountain. It is the look like the founder by the King Jaya Waraman II in early 9th century in the year 802 AD. The king he also uh, make a carving under the uh, river in here. Yeah, that we we you for call Thousand Linga. It is the place that you for call this uh, water and on Kulin Mountain. The meaning why the king he decide to carving a thousand linga uh, on this mountain because during the past when Cambodia we are very good look like Hindu uh, devoted. Hindu is, is a, a religion that we adapted from India long long time ago during the first century. But look like in India, look like the uh, country that they f uh, created the Hindu, they got one river that the river you for clean the bad luck away for all the Hindu devoted that we call Ganga. Ganga is a, a natural river in India. So when we are very good, look like Hindu devoted, we must be one time in a life, yeah, go to the Ganga River to clean the bad luck away from those river. Yeah, Cambodia also one of the country that very good pray with Hindu God as well. But if compare, look like Ganga is very far, or India is very far, for all our country people, yeah, travel to uh, clean the bad luck away. So that is a great invention by the King Jaya Waraman the seven, uh, the the second, that he believed that after the water flow crushing of the linga, it become holy water. So the meaning that he uh, uh, carving a thousand linga in here, because he would like to create the second Ginga Ganga in Cambodia. Yes, yeah, second Ging Ganga in Cambodia. So people in India, if they are very good with Hindu devoted, they not need to go to India for clean their bad luck away from the uh, originally Ganga River in India, but they can clean their bad luck away from this river as well. But this is, it is the religion way. But in the meaning, and after we learn about this place, we can say that it is a great invention that the King Jaya Waraman II, he would like to create it about the uh, 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 holy universe. Because after the water flow crossing of the linga, yeah, the water will become holy water. When the, ho the holy water flow to the Simrip River, Simrip River became holy river. And it connected to one of the big lakes in South Asia that we call Tunle Sap. Yeah, the Tunle Sap Lake became holy, holy lake. And the Tunle Sap Lake connect to Mekong Delta, and Mekong Delta connect to the sea, and the sea connect to the ocean. And the ocean connect the whole planet or the whole universe. So by his invention, he would like to create the whole universe. Yeah, by this thousand linga, here we are over there. Mm. Uh, tell us your name. My name is Ra. Yeah, I am also one of the tour guide in Simrip. Yeah, in Simrip. If you got time, please come and have a look here. We are always welcome for everybody here. Tell your phone number also. My phone number? <laughs> Not for the girl, eh? <laughs> you can uh, uh, contact to me. O uh, nine two four O four six four two. Thank you. Yeah, girl, okay. <laughs>
இந்த ரவுண்டா இருக்கிறது தான் லிங்கா
So what, this, okay, ah, okay. Can hold. Uh, in this river, basically, the lingas were built to generate energy because somehow the monks, the yogis which were here, they realized the city, this whole country will be going through a very big disaster. So how to keep the energy and how to make this whole culture alive? So they build up or they carve basically a lot of lingas in this river. So when the water is falling or going through the lingas, it take a turn. It's like a turban, okay? Take a turn like a cyclone. It go through the yoni, take a round around the linga. When it take a round around linga, one or two round turn, it basically grasp more oxygen from the nature, from the trees. So the water become oxygenated. Same time the water turn, it become electric water. It become energized. So the water become energized, more oxygenated, and more powerful. So the water can last for longer. So that's why they call it holy water. Holy water simply means the water has more oxygen, more life than any other water. So when this river goes all the way down to the city, when people drink this water, then they are more healthy. So the concept was to make them more healthy. And then the linga itself basically is the shape of DNA. The original lingas are egg shape. So they are the sh original same shape like DNA. So that means linga carry the energy of the country, the DNA of the country, DNA of Shiva actually. We call it Shiva linga. The only reason is because Shiva was one first one meditator or yogi or guru or god who basically give this concept of DNA that you are a base, your whole energy is basically is just a atom, a DNA which carry a lot of lot of memories and energy. So he gives that concept of DNA. And through that, the whole concept becomes Shiva Linga. So Linga is basically DNA of that culture, of that nature, of that society, of that human being. Yeah. Okay. Is there any um, proven uh, test labor, laboratory tested uh, reports uh, uh, on this oxygenation? Oh, about the Lingas definitely. But about the water, like Ganga water or this type of water, there are a lot of laboratory tests has been done that whenever the water will take few turns and through the rocks, like in Ganga, Ganga's the rocks are very sharp actually. So when the water falls through Ganga, then it takes a lot of turn and it becomes more oxygenated. Ganga water is 30 to 40 percent more oxygenated than other water. Mm -hmm. So whenever the water takes turn, it becomes oxygenated. That is proof. So that was the concept which was been built here also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please uh, tell us your name and uh, from which country you are uh, you belongs to. Uh, my name is Naveen Meghwal. I run a yoga center in Hong Kong, Ananda Yoga. I'm basically from India, Jaipur. Thank you. Thank you very much.